Hello and welcome back to Minecraft. Um, today, well, I got a message from a video which I made a long time ago um, asking about um, how to set up a scoreboard system because I did that in uh, one, the adventure map which I have started, but I don't know. I may finish at some point, but I'm not finishing it at the moment. So as you can see on the right hand side of my um, screen, you'll see that the clamp man with a mine uh, lowercase c has 20 um, jewels, which uh, is just the currency I'm, you know, making up for the purposes of this video. So, um, this is this is actually surprisingly easy to set up, especially if you have, like, uh, uh, the Minecraft wiki open up. Um, I can't, because I only have one screen, but um, I think I've memorized it. So, let's make a new... Oh, let's make a new scoreboard thing. So, wait a minute, no. Let's make a new scoreboard system. Let's call it, um... Let's just call it Pounds, because that's the country I'm from. Pounds sterling. Alright, so... First of all, you need to, uh... Forward... So, if you t press forward slash... That goes into, basically, command mode. So, basically, I can do game mode... C... And I can now fly, because I'm in creative mode. Um, but yeah. So, I need to go into the command... It might as well be called the command prompt, but whatever. So, let's set this up. So, what you need to type in first is scoreboard. Um, objectives. Objectives. Then you need to do add. Then you need a name which will be recognized in other objective commands. So, let's just say money. No, actually, I can't use that. I've already used that. Uh, let's just say... Um, example. I'll do. Uh, but this can be whatever you want. These are case sensitive, so they need to either have a lowercase or an um, uppercase in each thing. Then you need to set what kind of objective there you want. Now, there's loads of these, which you can all find on the Minecraft wiki. But I'm currently just going to do use a dummy, which is basically just an objective which... Um, is affected by commands. So, let's just call this pounds. And then you need to type in the actual name which is displayed. Pounds. Objective example has been added successfully. So, wait a minute. Uh, time set day. And that's difficulty uh, zero. Peaceful. Okay, there we go. Um, right, so you, you note, ah, sorry, you notice it said that example was added successfully, but we can't actually see it at the moment. That's because you need to set display. So what you need to do is do scoreboard, objectives again, uh, set, sorry, set, display, this is really nice music. Um, set display, and then you need to type in where you want to display it. So there's f three options for this. There's list, which is the list which is brought back down by the tab button. There's sidebar, which is um, displayed on the side, which is what Jules is on. And there's, I can't remember what it's called, it'll flash up on the screen now, for um, one which goes above your head. But, uh, let's just do sidebar for now, so sidebar, and then we need to do example. So you need to use the name which you set as the primary name for your thing, so this should work. Okay, so you can only have one obje objective in each one of these. So it has now got rid of it. The uh, example is stored in the sidebar, but you won't be able to see it until there are actually points there. So next, what you need to do, just to prove it, is... Score... Scoreboard? Am I thinking right? I think so. Scoreboard. Then you need to do... Players. And there's three commands. There's... Add... I think subtract. And uh, set. I'm just going to use set for now. Set. Uh, do I need to put my name first? No, I don't think so. I need to put my name now. So, let's do 
Clamp man. So the name of the player which you want to set to. You can just use at A to set to all. Or is it all? Yeah, at A to all. At P to closest, I think. I can't remember. But yeah. And then I need to set how much? So let's go 10. Nope, I did that wrong. Uh, player... Oh, right. I forgot to put in the um, objective. Okay, so I'll just retype that. Uh, I just pressed up to uh, make it easy for me. Example. Oh, I spelled it wrong. God damn it. Um, right. Example. There we are. See, and now it's on the side. Pounds 10. Now, you can do everything which I've just done through command blocks. So I just thought I'd type it into this so I wouldn't have command blocks everywhere. But what this basically means is if I just get a button out and some blocks. If you have... This is in my other video, pretty much. But if you have a button here and a command block here, you can set this command block to... I can't remember whether you have to put the slashes in this, but, um, scoreboard, players, add, um, at, nearest is at P, so, at P, sorry, at P, what, what's going on? Oh, right, sorry. At P, um, example, and then let's say one. Done. Okay, so now if I was to like use this as a trade system, so let's just let's just add some things. Uh, dispenser, and I need an item frame, preferably. Where do I get these from? Here they are. Actually, no, this is a bad example. But okay, uh, see that does plus one. I think you need a little bit of time, but that's just because of the button dynamics. So if I change this to... I think it's subtract. 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 Is that it? Let's see. No, it's not. Give me a second. It's remove. So remove is the um, opposite of add. So if we do remove done and then have it like this oh no <laughs> do I have like this and a signpost uh, signpost saying lever one pound Um, then just have, I don't know, um, imagine you couldn't get into this easily. So if I put this into game mode adventure, game mode been updated, so I can't, I don't know, I can, I didn't think you could do that in game mode. Adventure mode. Okay. Well, whatever. But, um... If I just... Ah, oh, crap. Uh, <laughs> give me a second. Game mode. C. Oh, game mouse. Mode. C. Uh, P. Oh, bam. Okay. And now go back to game mode. A. So I'm now in adventure mode, so if I come up to this and I say, Oh, I have 13 pounds, I can buy a lever. I can do that, and it'll throw a lever at me. You don't even need to use dispensers, you can use um, give commands. So if I do, like... Oh, damn it. Game mode. See, if I get rid of this and put in this, uh, I need to know the... I don't think... I think I can just use... um. Give at A, no, I mean P. Um, I think I can just use lever now, maybe. Can I? Does that work? Yeah, see? 
So I can just use this as a function. So that's something really easy you can do. So yeah, that's basically the principle of how I use scoreboard systems, but you can also use it for um, uh, like how many kills, um, that sort of thing. And you can all set these to uh, different places. So if I press, if I set one to tab, so let's just say um, score, sorry, score board objectives set display then we go what was I what do I call it? money this is the other one I set up before and then I oh know I think I need to put it beforehand so list okay so if I press tab now see I've got it up there and I've got zero at the moment so if I do um, score score board players um, set money what do I need to put clamp man first clamp man and then put it to 10 yeah okay so you can have basically three different objectives and um a useful uh the other one you can have above the person's head but i i can't really oops sorry wrong uh what is it f5 yeah i can't really display that without having another person here which i don't have at the moment um so yeah you can have like health, I think health is one of the arguments you can have, so you can have that displayable to other people playing the game. But yeah, there's loads of really cool um, scoreboard functions, and they're all on the wiki, which I will leave a description in the... Um, a, descri uh, a link in the description for, so yeah. I hope this video is good enough, if it's not, please tell me and I'll do some more. So yeah. I will see you for whenever. <laughs> Goodbye.